Bonjourno YouTube, it's Trevor here, Something or Nothing, having a look at some of my backpacks and more importantly my newest edition. If you are new to Summit or Nothing then please feel free to subscribe for more kit reviews, outdoors adventures, wild camps, hikes in the mountains, oh you name it we do it. We even have a movie podcast now. As you know I've always been a bit of a budget hiker, camper and the backpacks that I've used in the past have been moderate priced, they've still done the job. So I'm just going to talk you through the ones I've had in the past. This is like in between day packs and camping packs basically. So 30 litre packs. The first 30 litre pack that I bought for specifically for camping was the Trespass. I picked this up from Trespass for about 20 quid. It's done okay to be honest. Um, I've took it out on the coast path when I've done two days on the southwest coast path taking the lantern and I bought this because it had the straps whereas I was using my Caramel Urban as a day pack and I couldn't put my hiking poles on. This has got hiking pole straps which they weren't ideal because they always like flopped about but it done the job and it's basically it's just one big pocket and you've got a lid with a pocket either side. Uh, there's not even a bit in the back for a drink pouch. Not that I ever take a bladder, to be honest. But then it also had a kind of a breathable backing. Not that it ever really worked. But for 20 quid, it was worth a punt. And it's done me proud. I mean, I carried that around in the Romanian Carpathians as well. So it's not uncomfortable. It's quite lightweight. Shall we see what it weighs at? 0.41 kilograms. So 410 grams. So that was bag number one. Then I replaced it with the Caramel Jura backpack. Which is a sort of a step up from my Caramel Urban, which I've always loved my Caramel Urban as a day pack. This is about 30 quid I think, but it gave me more scope again. Not only did it have more pockets, got side pockets, that was ideal for stashing more stuff. The trouble with the trespass is when everything's packed there's only one entrance into your bag and should something slip down or you need to get something out the bottom everything has to come out whereas this you've got side pockets so you can keep things in the side again there's two pockets in the lid then it also separates into two um, and you can access the bottom compartment from the bottom oh look my my gaiters so you can access the bottom through the bottom and you can separate the two if you wanted and then it also had a bag for the bladder again you can still put your hiking poles on there I mean I carried this across Dartmoor when I done my Dartmoor in a day it was comfortable but it does give you fairly sweaty back should we weigh that see what that comes in at right that's 760 grams so a little bit heavier but then it's got more scope more pockets than that so a little bit heavier but the next bag I bought this is the most expensive day pack that I've ever bought so I me and Nath was going to the mountains up at the Lake District we done 12 mile hike taking in seven Wayne rides and I wanted to make sure that I was comfy and could fit as much in as I needed and after using the Osprey I appreciated how the anti-gravity system on that worked and it kept all the weight up above your hips felt like a different bag even though it's quite a heavy bag that one so I thought I'm going to look for something else and we went in to go outdoors they didn't have a lot of choice in there to be honest a lot of it was empty but this one the low alpine air zone trail 30 this is the bag I really want to talk about today because I've gone up in the world a bit using this you know you know I haven't spent a lot of money on bags this was about 70 quid when I bought it but I think that was on offer so I'll put links below obviously to all the different places you can get it and you can see what it comes in at but what leapt out to me about this bag was it had a good set of straps around the waist so again like the Osprey Atmos you can put it around your waist and it will cling on keeping the weight off of your back and on your hips it had the air zone backing which was a lot better than the the trespass one this really does keep that 
distance from your back so you don't get that sweaty back. It's got nice wide sort of foam pads, comfortable shoulder pads, but then it had as many pockets. I'm someone who loves a good pocket. And this has two pockets, flexible pockets on the side for your drink bottles. Then on the front, you've got another stretchy pocket, which is really handy for stashing things in, into that. Then you've got two good sized side pockets. And then on the inside, it's all mainly one compartment. Plus you've got the bit at the back there for drinks bladders. But oh, I've kept a roll mat in it. It's got a hook for an ice axe on that side. And then it's got two hooks for your hiking poles this side so you can pin that to the outside as well plus then you've got your two lid pockets it's got a emergency whistle on there it's got two pockets on the straps which you can keep your sort of personal belongings in wallet maybe a phone gps anything you want really handy um, inside it's got mountain distress signals talks you through what to do in an emergency if you are stuck or lost on the mountains and let us not forget it's got a rain cover as well touchable rain cover comes out goes on over and the bit that I like the most is that you can clip put it around the bag like so and then you can bring the clips behind the straps clip it together so there's no chance of it blowing off in the wind which I've had in the past. Forgot to mention as well the Cavalier drawer has its own rain cover. So that's the Low Alpine Air Zone Trail 30. Now I was really happy with this bag. It feels a bit more with confidence when you spent a sort of little bit more money on a, a backpack. Not something I always done but I'm starting to sort of feel the benefit of it took this up camping the other day got everything into that pack for a wild camp under 10 kilograms but let's out of interest see what this weighs in at okay so it's a little bit heavier again this comes in at one kilogram and 190 grams so a little bit heavier but then it's more comfortable than what I've got as I said it exerts the weight from your back onto your hips so that's my new backpack. I'm really pleased with it. I look forward to using it again. It does have other colours. At the time we stopped at the Go Outdoors on the way up to the Lake District, this was the only colour there, but I don't mind a bright blue. I don't mind that colour, to be fair. And I've really enjoyed using it, and I look forward to many more adventures in it soon. So thank you ever so much for watching. I will give you a rundown of this over the years as I use it. I haven't had any of my bags fail on me yet, so I'll be so very surprised if that one did. If you're interested in any of these products, you'll find links below in the video description. But anyway, there you go. Thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon.